getting involved in a, in, a, in an, any sort of program while you're in in jail is is something that is is you know one a privilege but two is one of those things that you know to help yourself um and and you know to be involved with animals was something that was 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 really interesting to me i have a dog at home that i miss greatly she's my uh she's my child we don't have my wife and i don't have kids so we have uh, a fur child instead so the opportunity to become involved with uh, an animal program was certainly one of those one of those things i put my hand up for straight away jail takes away all of your responsibilities from the outside so coming here he becomes my responsibility and actually something that i've got to to, to do to do to he depends on me to uh you know take him out to feed him to make sure he's he's walked he's watered um and he's loved and i think that um that's sort of one of the a good responsibility to have for me it's about something also uh, tactile something to touch something to to share affection with and something you can actually love in 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 here so he he's also never judgmental um he's happy to happy no matter what your mood is and what he what you're doing so he's happy to to cruise around and smile and and, and be with you so i, I guess it, you know having a dog um here is is great the gap program i didn't really know anything about it until got involved here with with gap and greyhounds i didn't know about the breed and actually how gentle they really are though you know you see them outside walking around with muzzles on you think they might be a vicious breed but it's not and i think they get a bad rap the program for these guys you know being an ex ex racer and coming here to, to for us to make them from a racing dog that have that had a sole purpose to train to eat to run and to chase things to now being turned into a family pet is certainly you know a part of the fun of all of this you know just having him with you at work at in your room at night time um you know he's having a puppy dream where you can just put your hand down and give him a pat is 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 really really gr a really great great thing for us and great thing for him from when he first arrived he was very very timid um we couldn't get him to to walk on any different surfaces so um getting inside and out of buildings on the decks or upstairs or anything like that he was just was wasn't interested in now you can't stop him apart from the open stair tread stairs and he's a good family dog i mean he's great around the visits with the kids the kids just uh love to pat them he's just happy he's happy to take a pat all day he will be you know um and happy for a sleep he's uh, i think the other thing is a good runner He's a good race. Well, he wasn't a great racer, but he's a good runner and a good sleeper, and a good eater. Cheese is your favourite. You know, he he really he loves it. He's a, certainly a favourite around with a lot of the other inmates and um, and the staff and the officers. I think also having a, a, an animal and this particular you know involved in this program helps um with the the transition or the the communication between officers and inmates he breaks down all those barriers because he can just you know everyone's happy to see a dog and pat a dog and you can have a conversation with someone whereas sometimes otherwise that may have been a bit more standoffish so it's he's a he's a great circuit breaker for us um for not only for for us to the officers but the officers to us as well